that last play, you figured, was that pretty much your call with it, whatever you want to do with that? Uh, yeah, we just ran a ball screen, and uh, they ended up switching. And, uh, and I learned my lesson from the first over time. I took a jump shot, and it was short. So I told myself I was going to get to the rack this time, and uh, ended up making it. Kyle, how nervous were you at the end of the regulation? I wish I could tell you I got ice water going through my veins. <laughs> But man, I was shaking. <laughs> you know, especially just because it's Nick's last game at home. You know, I, I didn't want him to go out like that, and it's made the free throws. You know, it's a, it's a great feeling. You know, especially since he went out there and got double overtime and won the game. So you know, it's still here right now. Nick, did you at all envision this day, and perhaps I might, I might have the final shot, or I'll have a chance to win the game on Senior Day? Did, did any of that play out in your mind? No, um, I just wanted to win the game. You know, it didn't matter how. Uh, you always want to play well your last game, but um, you know I didn't wasn't thinking about you know end of the game shots last night or today. I just wanted to win, and um, you know it's a good way to go out this way, and you know the W is all that matters. Did it feel different than the Lipscomb, the two two games in December when you went just because it was the end and at home anyway? Or did you feel um, a little more? I think uh, I compare this one to to UNLV, even though we lost double overtime. You know it was. We had a chance to win it, you know, in regulation and overtime, and we didn't. And we ended up uh, losing that one, but this one, you know, we learned from that, and uh, you need games like that to pull out ones like these. Nick, you had a, you got a big long hug from Momo right at the end there. What was he, what was he talking in your ear about? Um, I was basically telling him that it's his turn now. I'm handing over the keys to him. You know, he's the point guard of the future here, and. Um, you know, he was telling me that he loves me for everything I've done for him this year and, you know, vice versa. You know, we have a great relationship and, you know, he's going to keep the most going. Yeah. Kyle, you were part of a couple of big plays. The, the, uh, the layup that I think they thought was after the shot clock violation and then um, the travel there. Can you tell me, I mean, ups and downs all day for you today? Yeah, man. Um, I felt the layup might have been a little and one low key, so you know, <laughs> didn't get the call. And the travel, I mean, that uh, you know, I just didn't keep my composure. You know, ref probably made a good call, slipped the foot a little bit. Um, I mean, yeah, that's just the whole game, you know. Especially for from my point of view, you know, I had a, had a lot of bad plays, but you know, I had a couple good ones. So, you know, I'm just happy we got the win. Did you feel the foul on the, on the three at the end of regulation? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, he got me on the arm. I think the ref made it. Did you think? Did you? Uh, when you hit, did you think they would call no, something? No, no, not at all. I was like, I thought that was over. Well, we'll talk about uh, this game in terms of playing hard there out there with Nick. I mean, you guys have kind of been in the same shoes, different coaches for the last you know three years, and, and kind of watching him go out on top like this. Um, you know, you guys keep saying, uh, you constantly keep saying going out, you know, but to me, and I know a lot of the other guys, this is the beginning. You know what I mean? This is when the season is really starting for us. Um, but today's game, man, it was just great being out there with the guy. You know, to be in a game where you go to double overtimes, you know, it was a great feeling, especially, you know, to get the win. And, you know, why he's got the game winning bucket. Um, it's been a great ride with the guy. He stuck to what he does, man. He's been the same every year. That's what I love about him. Nick, describe this.